We're in the Wallace Collection, and we're looking at a Rosa Bonheur. This is called Sheep, and it's on a wall with lots of other paintings. But we both noticed how it just really stands out. It really does. The effect of real light in this landscape is remarkable. And, you know, she was an animal painter, but the landscape is also really pretty fabulous. And it's a complicated landscape. You have rain in a couple of areas and light coming through. And what I find so incredibly complex is the way that light plays on the fur of the sheep, as well as the brush and the grass in the foreground. It's so complicated. It's a sense of minute depth, yes, in a way. It almost, in some ways, reminds me of a Pre-Raphaelite painting and its attention to detail and actually observing nature instead of a kind of academic formula. When we look at the paintings of women of the 19th century, we so often see domestic scenes, but here she is out in nature. And it wasn't easy for her to do that. No, not at all. I mean, this is a relatively pastoral scene, but nevertheless, and her paintings really do show animals in a much more aggressive way. We know that Rosa Bernori obviously wasn't easy for her as a woman to be a professional artist, and in fact, in order to sort of be out in the fields and painting animals, it was much more efficient and comfortable to wear pants, but she actually had to petition the French government to wear pants. (laughs) Like so many women who became successful artists, her family included male artists. So that's how she would have learned how to paint because, of course, women could not just simply go to art school. It was accepted for women to dabble in painting. They certainly could take private lessons, but it was at the level of amateur. And Rosa Bonheur has really transcended that and become a professional, which was an extremely rare and somewhat provocative Mm -hmm. thing to do. And she had the support of her family. Her family was very progressive in that way and really encouraged her. And her father was a painter. Her siblings were painters and her mother encouraged her to draw. If I remember correctly, she ended up being quite successful financially. I think she had a very strong reputation, although it was a narrow reputation, again, as an animal painter. You know, when you see such a beautiful painting like this by a woman artist, it's impossible not to think about all the women who didn't have that support of their family, who could have become great painters and didn't.